now I can I, I know there's computer dating now, you know, so that's maybe some kind of analysis. But all that happens on that, I mean, you don't just marry the person that the computer finds for you. You go and meet them first, and you meet a few of them probably, and make them, it just gives you a few more options, right? Um, where else do we look for animal behaviour in humans? Well, most people I know are very quiet, law-abiding, gentle folk. But certain things will break that down. They will break through that peaceful state very quickly. Look at a mother whose child is being bullied at school. She'll be straight down there. She'll be waving her fist and she'll be insisting that she sees the head and she'll be fighting in there for her son. And she may even get physical. Um, she'll become a spitting dragon. Uh, watch a man whose kid is being threatened on or off the playing fields. Suddenly physical violence is actually part of his universe again. And this is all part of this huge instinctive desire to protect not only ourselves, but our children. Again, it's the selfish gene. It's incredibly strongly written into us that this is the way we behave. Threaten me, threaten my kids, you may get killed. <coughs> So once again, this, is, this behavior is identical to the way that certainly mammals behave, and, and many other creatures as well. We, we all know to steer clear of stags when they're in the mating season, and when there's baby deer around. And there's plenty of stories of even a, a bird like a swan being able to break a man's leg because he got too close to the nest. Otherwise, swans are very uh, peaceful creatures too. So viewed in evolutionary terms, this behavior is much more important important than what we do for most of the day, much more important than what TV program we watch, whether we become bankers or road sweepers or politicians. Okay, there's many others. I could, I could go on a long time in this way, but you get the picture. You see, I'm heading towards the question of why, why would we think that we're more important than the other animals on this planet? Why would that happen? Are there things which elevate humans above other creatures? What achievements can we claim as a race? What superior qualities? I often think how fascinating it would be for an alien to visit Earth and try to evaluate what he thought the various species were worth. Um, trying to assess our claims to being entitled to greater respect. Well, what have we done? We seem to have been incredibly good at covering the planet with concrete. We've managed to eradicate vast numbers of other species completely and enslaved most of the ones that are left in various ways. Um, in many cases, biologically engineering them to feed us in a way which makes maximum money for the people who are farming them. We keep some of them in cages, living miserably deprived lives, and inflict pain on them, infect them with diseases, in order to find ways of prolonging our own lives. Some of us take delight in breeding birds, again, in battery conditions in order to release them and pretend that they're wild and go out and shoot them for fun with guns. And in perhaps what I perhaps regard as the most cowardly sport of all, some of us who have been, some of us pursue wild creatures with packs of dogs who have been trained to be brutal by forcing them to eat baby animals. It's a shameful and hideous scenario, this fox hunting, in my opinion. And again, I might return to that in a minute. All of it, the fox hunting, the stag hunting, the hare coursing. <coughs> all in all, in all these areas, in farming, in experimentation on animals, and in various kinds of killing for pleasure, we treat animals <coughs> as if they had no feelings, as if they didn't matter, as if all that mattered was the well-being of humans. So what does the alien say when he comes down? What's his judgment as he looks at the millions of intelligent animals, pigs, cows, sheep, chickens, all enslaved, confined, deprived, tortured, living hideously miserable lives and enduring hideously, terrifyingly painful deaths, all to serve humans. What does the alien say? I think the verdict is that humans as a wild animal are possibly the most disappointing wild animal on this planet. So what can they claim as regards success? I'd, I'd actually discount anything to do with money. And it kind of pains me when I hear kids at school, if they're asked what they want to do, they say, oh, well, I want to make loads of money. It's like they haven't even glimpsed the core of what life might be about. I don't want to be too doomy and too dismissive of the human race. 
I say there are some good things out there. And I think some of the good things are the pursuit, the pursuit of pure art, which is a kind of higher communication, in my opinion. Music, drama, poetry, painting, sculpture. And also the, the pursuit of pure knowledge, in which I include all the pure sciences, physics, chemistry, bio biology, astronomy. These are ways in which we learn to understand the universe that we live in, and it can't be a bad thing. And also the pursuit of wisdom, philosophy, the study of thought itself. All these facets of human endeavor are, to me, things to be proud of, because they seek the finer things in the natural world. They lead us to enlightenment. And there are good people in the world. So there's some people who've just been looking after my son in Tooting Hospital who work way beyond the call of duty. There are many people who are here today who devote their lives to animals, and I salute them. Many people who devote their lives to making um, food available for other nations, for looking after children. So it's not all bad in the human race, but my God, there is a lot of bad. I think there's one other thing which might distinguish us from animals, and that is what appears to be a very human quality, the quality of compassion. And against us, they'll call it something else. They'll, they'll say we're sentimental, you know, what's with sentimental, sentimentality about animals, and they'll start quoting Beatrice, Beatrix Potter and stuff. Um, but sentiment, sentimentality has nothing to do with it. And when was it sentimentality that made people want to not have slaves anymore? I don't think so. It was something called compassion, which is based on reason and a certain humility in realizing that we're all the same. We all have an equal right to tread this beautiful planet. We have the mental capacity to understand all races and all creatures. So to me, the highest forms of some of the highest forms of human endeavor, human endeavor, are in the field of compassion. And it actually takes a rather strong person to be compassionate. The person has to get over a lot of things. He has to get over the hurt that he's experienced, the hurt that might uh, uh, inflict his family. Um, to be compassionate in all situations is a very tough job. And I think it's a, an aim very, very much worth pursuing. This to me is the future of mankind, if we have a future. <coughs> we have to learn for our own good, even selfishly, to recognize that we need the other creatures on this planet and we need to treat them decently. I think this, this is the way that we can become actually worthy of the term humane. Now this is kind of the end of what I want to say about man as a wild animal. If you don't mind, I'd, I'd be very happy to take questions in a minute, but I'd just like to say a couple of words about Save Me, if I might do, do a little advert. <laughs> um, this is Save Me, um, just so those of you who don't know what we're about um, will understand. I started Save Me uh, some weeks before the last election when I discovered that um, David Cameron was intent on bringing back the fox hunting. I was totally shocked. Um, so I started a campaign which really wasn't a political campaign, but it was judged as being political because obviously I was running up against Cameron and his mates, you know, this, this small coterie at the, the core of the new Conservative Party who think it's okay uh, to hunt animals with dogs. And actually, you think it's okay to cull wild animals in the cause of trying to eradicate a disease which is, has been brought about by farming, both on TV. Um, I think when we started, I thought I could do everything. I just had a bit of a success with hedgehogs. <laughs> um, they were killing hedgehogs in the island of Weest in Scotland um, because the hedgehogs were accused of stealing the ground nesting birds' eggs. And they decided, you know, I mean, the, the bird lobby is very strong, you know, good for them, but the mammal lobby is not very strong, especially in Scotland. And so they decided they should catch all these hedgehogs um, in cages to stop <coughs> eating the birds' eggs, and then they killed them. And um, I got into it with, um, with a Scottish charity, um, the One Kind People. 
And we made a big fuss, and we actually got them to, instead of killing the, the, uh, the hedgehogs, um, take them to the mainland and releasing them and giving them a chance at a new life. So I thought, well, this is good. You know, you can actually get some success in this. And, I, and so I sort of moved into the, the, the realm of fox hunting. And uh, of course, it's very different. Fox hunting, you have a, a vast army of people who, number one, enjoy it. And number two, the people who, who surround you who make money out of it. And it's all very politically connected as well. You know, and we do have a government at the moment which is intimately connected with this world. So it's not been easy. And it's actually been depressing at times. But we're hanging in. We sort of, you know, I, as I said, I, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to rescue all animals everywhere. And of course, it's not possible all at, one, all at once. But in a fair like this, there are people who specialize in all the different areas. Um, one of the things we try to do as, as Save Me is to try and bring the groups together a little so that we coordinate our efforts. But we can't become one organization because there are too many facets. And no, nobody can know everything about all, all the areas. Um, as Save Me, we've got quite informed about foxes. And it's not a pretty sight. We've also made it our business to become very informed about badges. Um, so very briefly, can I mention two things which we would like you to do if you haven't done already? There is a petition, um, which we, have, we hope to take to the government at some point, which um, says we do not agree with fox hunting, and we would like to make sure that fox hunting never returns to the British countryside. We'd like you all to sign it if you would before you leave. 